What is the best CRM system for WordPress? I wanted to take the opportunity to share how I use Groundhog in my agency to help my clients get more sales and create more revenue. And I've been working as an agency for many years, and mainly I work with doctors and clinics and financial institutions, but I also do uh, other small businesses in various sectors, uh, very diverse array of clients over the years. So today I'm gonna to focus on local businesses, get people in the door, trying to help them get more sales and more revenue. Uh, so the first one I'm gonna talk about is uh, a Botox doctor who actually built out a training side of his company at my request. Actually, we figured it out together and he's created a lot of interest and extra revenue for his clinic. Uh, then there's Dr. Ian Horseman, who is a brain therapy specialist. And we're going to talk about one strategy, which is really the only strategy that we need because it works so well, even though we do several others. Then I'm going to talk about McGuire Financial which is a financial services firm out of Edmonton. And then finally, I'm gonna throw in something for the Center for Dermatology. In this particular case, it's not a revenue generator, but it is a systems and processes uh, use for Groundhog that's quite unique and really helps them uh, deal with the whole sort of COVID-19 patient intake system. So we built that whole thing for them and it'll be interesting to take a look at that. So a little bit about me before I get started. I'm actually a Groundhog certified partner. I'm also an Infusionsoft award-winning certified partner. I've built literally hundreds of websites and CRM systems and funnels over the years. Um, I'm also a certified trainer as well. And I've built uh, a training company, been in the training business uh, for digital marketing since 2004. So that's a while. And I've trained literally thousands of business owners, employees, and marketing teams over the years. I'm also a CEO of the marketing agency business, and it's a small boutique agency. And my team is like an external marketing department for small and medium sized businesses and a select group of uh, clients in our portfolio. So one of the reasons why I like Groundhog is because it's fairly easy to implement. Uh, it does what I need it to do as a CRM. But the other thing is, if it works well for one client, it's fairly easy to export out all of the funnel for that particular client right into another client application, right into WordPress and, and get it working pretty quickly. So it's easy to migrate systems from one client to another. And that's why I like it. So. Let's dive into it and let's see if we can uncover some inside advantage information as it pertains to Groundhog. Let's get started. The first example I want to show you is a clinic here in Toronto that does Botox and dermal fillers. And a couple of years ago, we started a training division in which Dr. Amir Rizadi is essentially doing full end-to-end in-person with models training so they can get hands-on experience to do Botox and dermal fillers. He has two courses. He has the Botox course and he has the dermal fillers course. And sometimes in these situations, I believe that with CRMs, you can you can get overly complicated. Sometimes simple is just best because he has a very simple system that works for him. And I'm gonna share that with you. So the first thing is just a simple landing page. It's actually works so well, we actually built out a whole new website and I'll show that to you in just a moment. But this was the old one and people would put in their names and phone and email address, but then also we want to learn a little bit about them. So that what qualifications do you have? So he can take three different types, physicians, nurse practitioners, and nurses, and the follow-up with those are a little bit different and the conversation is different. And then what are they looking for training in? And then when do they want to start? So as part of our system, if they say six months or longer, it automatically triggers another funnel to start following up and send an admin notification to the team in about six months. So 
uh, that's the intake form. Let's take a look at the funnel. So there's the form that it comes in. And then it's really simple. All we do is send an email and an admin notification. And obviously, I think the admin notification, this is the one that goes to the office. And they basically follow up by phone because they want to qualify people and ascertain whether they're prepared for the financial burden of this particular situation because it's not inexpensive. And then also, do they actually qualify and if they would be a good candidate? So it's really a, a conversation that needs to be had by phone rather than just constantly sending out emails and expecting people to just buy things with buy now buttons. Uh, and then essentially once they get to this point, we're just applying a tag to keep them all on the same list. We call it the Botox list. And right now, if you can see, there's 463 people that are currently on that list. We take them off of that list and remove that profile tag from them when they either do the course or they lose interest. But essentially 463 is a solid list of doctors, nurses, and nurse practitioners that we've built over the last, I would say not quite two years, but it's a, it's a pretty solid list that we can then market the next course. So he runs the courses about every two months. And all we do in that particular case is we send out broadcasts, three broadcasts for each course. And let's take a look at the broadcasts. And it's basically interspersed with, you know, the clinic advertising and things like that. We're sending out an initial invite. Typically we get two to three people inquire about that. And then maybe one close, then we send out another one. And then one final one that says, usually we have one spot remaining and we've sold out these courses. And sometimes he ran them every month, but we sold them out pretty consistently because he can only take a maximum of five people. Uh, because it is very specialized and very hands-on training. So it's done really well. And then as a result of that, we started this whole new website, which is just dedicated solely to Botox and aesthetics medicine training. And this is now Dr. Amir Rizadi's entire business, which is totally about training. So we have now, we've built out online training and uh, in, in person hands on training and then post course mentorship. And we've actually put those all into a learning management system. Uh, in this case, Lifter LMS. And you can literally buy the courses and take them online. And then the follow up is the, the live course. So, and you can see the pricing on these, they're not inexpensive. So I think that's a really good use. For Groundhog, it, it does well in that scenario. It's not totally complicated, but it's definitely something that you as an agency could think about as you start to think about where should I specialize in marketing. All right, the next one is another clinic, but a very different clinic. They're actually a brain therapy clinic. And we instituted maybe a little more than a year ago a online concussion test because they get a lot of brain injury patients. And you can see that we advertise not everywhere. We only advertise in a small area. This advertise ad runs, I think it's a hundred and hundred, about a hundred kilometer radius around their business in Peterborough, Ontario. But you can also see that in terms of search ranking, anything to do with online concussion test or free concussion test or even concussion test ranks typically one, two, and usually not past two in all of North America. So let's actually test that out. Let's just do concussion test. And I'm logged in, so maybe that's not the best for you. Let's just do it this way, concussion test. And we are ranking, in this case, number two for concussion test. Let's just do free concussion test. 
And for free concussion tests, we're number one. So that's pretty cool. And free online concussion test number one as well. So it brings a lot of traffic to the website. And the actual test itself, Thrive Quiz Builder with 30 questions, not a lot of branding, no content on the page, but yet it still ranks at the top of search engines. So again, I click through from the ad, which goes to a different page, but if we go free concussion test, it'll take you directly to that page, which it does. And it's interesting that it ranks so high, even though there's no, no real content evident on this page. So it kind of goes against a lot of SEO rules, but follows the interaction rules of the new Google algorithm. So that's pretty cool. So when they get to the end of the test, there's an opt-in gate. And then based on whether they have no symptoms, moderate symptoms or severe symptoms, the system starts to follow up with them for creating appointments. So this is the follow-up funnel in Groundhog. And new user is basically a benchmark in Groundhog that gets created. Uh, this is a benchmark that gets fulfilled when someone uh, becomes a user a subscriber in WordPress. And that's good because that's the connection between Thrive Builder, Th Thrive Quiz Builder and Groundhog because Thrive does not connect directly to Groundhogs, but it does create new users. And so you can use the new, new user benchmark in this particular case. Then there's a delay timer of like a day, and then it starts to send this series of emails over the next three or four days that gets them to book an appointment. And then another funnel takes over, which I'm not going to show you, but what I am going to show you is the kind of traffic that we're currently getting. So you can see um, currently there's 3,375 active contacts, which is quite a few when you consider that it is a small business, but definitely a great strategy. And we use Groundhog for the entire follow-up for that particular system. All right, let's move on to McGuire Financial, which is a financial planner in Edmonton. They specialize in something known as the banker's secret or the infinite banking concept. And they've been doing that for many years in conjunction with doing uh, their own radio show every Saturday or every other Saturday, I think, at the, one of their local radio stations, uh, a, a show called Ask the Experts. And that does well for them. But the thing that does most well for them is what we call the Banker's Secret webinar. So they have a couple of them. They have um, the pre-recorded one, which we put in, which is here. And essentially people just fill out a form and they can watch the entire thing. And then it follows up with them to get them to book an appointment. There's also live events, which they run quite consistently. So the next ones are uh, April 15th, April 21st, and then April 27th. So you can see they, they really do run them regularly and people attend these online. And then on the back end, they get them into meetings so they can get them in as part of their client services. But the one that I wanted to share with you that does well for us with Groundhog is one called the PAR policy. So People, it, and it is a search strategy where people are looking for whole life insurance and what it actually does and what it means. So we built this one called uh, the pre-recorded webinar for the astonishing ben financial benefits of a PAR policy. And then it's basically, you know, a simple pop-up and then watch the webinar. And that runs through a groundhog funnel called the PAR policy webinar. And you can currently see that there's, there's 16 people in that funnel right now. So that's a good generator for them. Uh, they've been doing that one for a while, or we've been doing that one for a while. But we also advertise uh, from time to time using Facebook lead ads. So there's a Zap listener in there that people sign up in directly in Facebook. And through the Zap listener, it pulls them into the funnel to go and watch the, the actual pre-recorded webinar. So we confirm people's email addresses, set delay timers, send emails. Then, then there's a, in the end, a request for consult form. 
which basically says, you know, when are you available? Mon morning, noon, afternoon, evening. So a, a simple follow-up. So everything that I'm showing you here is not groundbreaking, but the application for each different businesses business can be dramatic in its effect in helping the business actually earn revenue. So for this particular client, it is a good lead strategy to get them into these types of pre-recorded webinars and or live webinars. So that works really, really well. And the last one that I wanted to show you is the Center for Dermatology. And they have a unique application that we built for them for what we call the COVID-19 patient screening test. So essentially what was happening with their business was people would come to the clinic and it's a fairly active clinic with and I've actually been there when there's been 50 people in the lobby, like it's, it's a busy business. And with COVID, they have to pass this test. And so it automates the intake system by, they give them a QR code to use with their phone, which takes them to this page, or they can use the URL directly. And then they fill this out and they answer the questions. But if they get any of these questions incorrectly, for example, do you or anyone in your household have these symptoms? And you put yes, you're gonna fail this test. So you actually have to pass every single question in order to be admitted to the clinic. And this is literally after you show up. So they basically give you the 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 url through qr code you go to your car fill it out and then you know whether you passed immediately and then you can come back show them your results on your phone and they'll let you in so let me just walk you quickly through the funnel because this is an interesting one so there's the web form that i showed you and then there is conditional logic on the past admin uh, so notify administration if they passed also send the user if they passed by email and send the user if they passed by SMS text. And if they failed, they get that admin notify, that failed email and that SMS text. So I think it's interesting to look at the conditional logic because you can see that based on the meta results, which if you don't choose no, in other words, if, if it does not equal no, you'd fail that test. So for example, if you put yes on the form and this says, hey, it has to be no, you basically failed. And so this would be, this um, action would be triggered, this action would be triggered, and this action would be triggered. So that's a pretty neat system. And with Groundhog Cron running every minute, people get their results right away, especially with SMX, which is really efficient in terms of its ability to handle lots of people. And likewise, for the failed admin notify, you can see if their question, any of the answers equals yes, then they fail. So let's just uh, quickly show you what a failed email looks like, because I thought that was kind of interesting. So it puts their first and last name in, then it says failed in big red letters and puts the date on. It says, hey, thanks for completing the form. According to your responses, you failed the questions. Please do not enter the building and call this number to reschedule your appointment. Thanks for helping us to do our best to keep everyone safe. So it's pretty strict and it does work as a, as a patient intake system. And I would suggest that if you could maybe think about other systems and processes for your clients that could help them out just like this one does that's good overall for your business and has really nothing to do with earning revenue but how to systematize a business